Hello everyone, it is California Bird, aka Kamada here, playing Transport Fever, an amazing game, just came out, I've been playing a little bit of it, and I gotta tell you what, it is super amazing. I was a big fan of Train Fever when that came out, yeah, I mean it had a rocky start, but that was an amazing transportation game. Uh, this is the follow up to it, and let's see about it. I've been having a blast with uh, doing a free game on America, and so I figured I would do a free game with uh, Europe on this one. So we're going to go with a large map. We're going to do square, uh, terrain type, probably medium, and we're going to start off way back in the day. And difficulty, we're going to go with easy. And the seed I'm going to use is going to be the birds. So let's go ahead and fire that up. Let's see what kind of map we get. All right, so we have our first map loaded up here. This is Europe. It's very green. For those of you who have played Train Fever and Transport Fever, the American map is very brown, very uh, wild west, very untamed. Uh, these European maps are much more uh, civilized. And uh, so some of the big additions that came about in uh, Transport Fever is the fact that we now have ships. That's crazy. That wasn't around in Train Fever. And airplanes later on in the game after they get invented. Uh, so it's pretty cool and they've added a bunch of new connection features so you can really make that perfect transportation network and so what i'm looking for right now is some early place to kind of start i usually like to put down a rail line between a couple cities and get some uh, industry going on uh, so usually i want some flat ground for my trains around here is pretty good actually and then we get some food over here, shoot over to this city, and bring it around in a nice little loop. Actually, this would be a great area for a first loop. Uh, another one that would be pretty good. Be along back here, though, there is a hill, so we're going to need a tunnel. And tunnels mean money, because that means blasting and dynamite, hiring people. Don't want to do that. What I'm thinking is that we're going to probably start off with something in this part of the map. Uh, probably start off getting some food over here from this farm over to this uh, food processing plant. And there's lots of industry in this game that you can connect. Uh, but before I do that, I want to definitely get some transportation going on for the peoples of Ipswich down to Aldershot. And I apologize to anyone if I am mispronouncing those names. English is my first language, but I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to English. So the first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to look and see where there are people, where there are people they need to be taken somewhere, they get to work, or school, or something. So we're gonna set up this nice little small station over here in Ipswich, and let's see, All right, another one over here in Aldershot. Right, like so, and we'll very quickly put down some track. Now, one thing to know when you put down track, if you just go all the way down here and shoot the track over, I mean, it's gonna cost you like all your money. I mean, that was like all my money right there. That was like two million dollars. You do it in uh, short bursts, you can save a lot of money. Because the computer doesn't think, oh, we gotta change the terrain around and hire lots of people. No, I just do short segments and that is how you can get more bang for your buck if you saw before that was like 2.8 million whoop oh that's expensive it's 2.8 million to connect these two train stations and I mean I've barely broken 200,000 and I'm almost connected to two so pay attention to it don't let the computer decide that it needs to build these giant mounds or cuts through the ground. You don't need them. Don't build them. It's it's just extra. Oh, too much slope. This. There might be a hill. Just a wee bit of hill, hillage. But nothing we can't overcome. Uh, do we want that hill there? Uh, I'm gonna say no. We'll probably just try to keep it straight right into the right into the station. 
like so. Getting a little windy at the end, but that was pretty good. Much better. Only burned less than 300,000, unlike the 2 million that it wanted us to burn. That, that's good cost savings right there. So what we're going to do, we're going to set up a rail depot. Very much like train fever for those of you who are playing train fever, because we need to be able to buy trains put on our train tracks. And there we go, rail depot. Now, what's something interesting in transport fever is you've got this catchment area. So this, where everyone has highlighted into a lighter color, those are the people who can use this train station. No one else can. How are we gonna fix this? Well, we're gonna need buses. And by buses, well, they're not really buses. You'll see what we have in just a few seconds, but set up a little bus line in each of these cities to get people carried around. So, we're definitely going to want a bus station, probably over here, by the station, by the train station. That way, we're going to have a high volume right there. Hopefully, we're going to have a high volume. Who knows? And, let's see. No, we don't want a bus station right near that one. Uh, put a bus station on this side of the town. And actually, so, something you can do too is kind of help your towns grow. And, so... We, well, we don't want to blow up houses right now. But to make this a little bit more of a nice loop, what we're going to do is we don't want a curved road. Thank you. A little road out here. Out here. Gotta just help the city grow a little bit. I mean, it costs some money now, but I mean, that expense is well worth it in the future. You can get people using a good bus line. And so, go ahead and plop that bus station there and we almost don't need a bus station out here I'm hopeful the city is gonna grow though I mean this one's covering most of the town I'm hopeful maybe too hopeful but I'll drop one out here as just uh, oh I hope <laughs> and so we'll go ahead and purchase some buses and by buses I mean stagecoaches very bus like very very bus like not really and that what color should we go with I'm digging a, a blue right now, so probably buy two of those and uh, set those to a line. So we're going to put a new line, and this is, what is this, Ipswich? Oh, this is going to be IPH bus, and it is going to go from train station and just go around town. And just pick people up, bring them to the train station. That's all. We're gonna have that guy do. We do the same thing over in what was this? Aldershot. Very similar thing. Aldershot, nice. They have the roads almost perfect for me. I can spend like nothing to finish this up. We can get a nice good loop going through the city. And what you really want when you have passenger trains is you want to get the green people. You want your residential people to be using it, because that is who's going to use it the most. They're going to use it to go to work, to these commercial buildings, or sorry, these industrial buildings where they work, and then they're going to work and shop in these commercial buildings. And so you definitely want to make sure you can get people around your town, or between towns. That way you can just grow the economy. And that's what you want. So we've got that bus station down. And we're gonna go ahead and fire away another bus station up here. And plop one up here. And I'm gonna finish this little bit of road. And that will bam, just like that. And I'm gonna need another stagecoach arm thing. Go ahead and fire away on that. And it's also always a good idea to build some train tracks through the town. So that way, the, uh, the townspeople don't get too happy about the new train station. They're like, hey, let's put stuff that's gonna block the train tracks. They'll do that, and it's very annoying. And then you gotta pay millions of dollars to tear down houses that you didn't even want there in the first place. So, good idea to just build it out a little bit. And so, go ahead and set up this line by a couple stagecoaches, not worry about color on these. New line. And we'll go from this bus station, from the Aldershot transfer, down to Park Avenue. What a 
Very nice name. I don't know. Is that a park right there? I guess that could be a park. Up and over to Green Lane, where there are not many green buildings, but I guess we can forgive them for that. So this will be Alder Bus. Go ahead and fire that away. And we've still got $2 million in the bank, so we've still got a lot of money where we can start either... I honestly want to get a train to move the food around, um, but that's going to cost a lot of money at first. Probably buy the passenger train first, honestly. Um, and so, go ahead and we're not gonna put too much into it. We're gonna get, oh man, look at this train. He is ancient. He's got like an old stove on his back and a tiny coal car. And look at these cute little I, passenger cars, six people. That That's crazy, a whopping six people. Look out, look, look out. Go ahead and make this train. Well, I actually kind of like the colors that are in this, so hopefully it comes up with those colors. Just buy a locomotive and, I don't know, let's say three passenger cars. Kind of overkill maybe at the beginning, but we'll try it. And this will be from Ipswich uh, down to Aldershot. So I'm gonna go with IPH, whoop, IPH to Alder. And, ooh, passenger. So, that guy's ready to go once we unpause time, but we've still got 1.8 million to play with. So honestly, we might be able, we might be able to get more train, more train fever. Oh wait, no, wrong game. This is transfer fever. Um, <laughs> but let's see, you know, maybe they make this a three star, but the train's probably gonna be kind of slow. I think for now I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put something on this on this nice uh, nice food delivery service that we'll get going. So, but in the meantime, I'm gonna actually let time play forward a little bit and get some money in, and so we can see our nice beautiful train. There he is toot toot coming out of the depot. Oh, and we need to put down a signal, so that way if we have more more trains in there, they don't go crazy and block things. Look at this. Look at that. It's nice, very Victorian, very steampunkish. Nice. Let me just let's see if we can just uh, ride along here. Look at that. Look at that. Nice classic wood. You got the guy standing off there looking off. Not even paying attention. I mean, what if a deer crossed the road? What if a child crossed the road? He would not see it. He's just like, I'm on a train. I'm not going to pay attention, apparently. Tiny, tiny little train cars. Uh, they're nice. No caboose. But, I mean, who needs a caboose, right? And, I mean, this train. Look at it. It is going a whopping 28 kilometers an hour. That is crazy. Look out yeah, for that train. Breaking some speed limits out there, especially for this time. And where is with our buses? Let's see. Our uh, very blue, very royal stagecoaches riding around the town of Ipswich. Going around. There is no one out. They are building a house, so that's good. I mean, we've got some growth, got some growth. People are still walking. I mean, you guys should just take the bus. We've got a bus service now. Full two horses. Great. Should use it. Uh, same thing in Alder. Alder shot? Yeah, Alder shot. Uh, are the buses even? Oh, did I not? Did I? Nope. I, you know, that would that would be useful if I set the buses out. So, so now the horses can go and get to their thing out here, and hopefully grow this city a bit. You know, I should have probably looked at the information. I probably picked like the smallest cities on this map right now. Let's look at population-wise. What are we working with? Uh, so Ipswich is pretty pretty small, medium, and. I mean, older shot. I mean, it's not the worst. Ah, but you know, soon these these cities are gonna be huge. I mean, absolutely huge. After our transportation network starts bringing them food, so they can grow their cities, and after we start having people going back and forth between these two towns, uh, it's gonna fire up speed a little bit higher, so we can actually uh, see some stuff going on. 
in the meantime, while we wait for Uncle Grandpa, the slow train, to uh, get to his destination, I am uh, thinking that what we need is we need to bring some food over to this food processing plant. So, uh, let's see if we can build, I wanna see, actually, how much is it gonna cost if I, does it cost if I have to? Oh, I'm gonna have to pay to remove fields. I mean, that's gonna make things a little difficult, right? I mean, I don't wanna remove fields. Maybe I can move this road over a little and sneak a train track by, uh, cause, I mean, I don't even know if if I get rid of all these farms, will this farm stop producing stuff? I don't, I don't think so. But I don't, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. So, yeah, do a little bit, a little bit of reconstruction here. Let's see. So we're gonna set up train station, put up a cargo station. It'd be really embarrassing if I put up a passenger station. Uh, put up a nice cargo station for us to do things with. We can just use a small country road. Ooh, uh, so much curvature. To kind of skirt around these farms. Give us tons of room for our tracks. And by tons, I mean like none. There's like no room. Hey, we'll get, we'll skirt. Through. Yeah, there we go. We can make it through. And if we double track in the future, if we do other things, we can, uh, we'll live with destroying a farm. It'll be okay. Farmer Jeb won't be happy, but, you know, I mean, oh, but that is like, uh, that's not gonna be very straight. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bite it. I'm just gonna destroy this one field now, uh, and hope that doesn't mess up production or whatever. Yeah. So much for uh, building a new road. I guess that wasn't very necessary. Oh, look! Oh my gosh, we've got people waiting at the train station. Look at, look! It's, oh, you guys, let's see this guy. It's... Five four zero six one. Look, check him out. Look out. He's riding the train. Let's see, we. Oh, that, it just does that for you. Okay. But I mean, that's a pretty sick train. You gotta admit. I mean, the wood paneling does it. You got those nice brass finishes. I mean, if I were sold this train, even today, I mean, I'd take it. I mean, it's just class, right there. I mean, that's just classic train. So, that's good. Starting to bring in some money with our passenger line. Probably gonna make it like tens of dollars. Ooh, we've got uh, we've got lots of people waiting over here. We've got 12 people. That's like two whole train cars full. That and with the speed of this train, I mean that's actually pretty good. But focusing back on the task at hand and not getting distracted. Come on, comment. Don't don't get distracted. Uh, but we are gonna move some grain around. I kind of I kind of want to put this this thing over here. I don't I don't want to run this mountain over here. I bring food into here and then shoot it up here. So, we are going to build another room. Oh, the auto saves. The auto saves are still a thing. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, Train Fever had this thing where it throws a lot when you auto save. I mean, that was actually a very minute auto save, but we'll see what happens when we get into the later game. Uh, so, we'll just uh, plop down a cargo station there and not dig a valley. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this will work. This will work. And uh, so yeah, so what we're gonna do here is just finish up this connection so we can get food to the food processing plant and then shoot food over to our city. So then they can have they have kids. They cannot starve anymore. Honestly, don't know how they're surviving right now. I mean, there's no trucks carrying food. I mean, people don't have gardens. Do people have gardens? I don't. I don't think people have gardens right now. Oh, there's a market. I guess someone is delivering the food. But, I mean, come on. It's so much, it's gonna be so much better when the trains deliver your food. It's gonna be so much faster, quicker, more steam will be involved. It's gonna be just like all around better. I mean, why wouldn't you want a train delivering your food? Uh, so we'll just plop that there. Look at that. Already got a nice little uh, cargo railroad kind of thing going on. We're gonna put some stoplights signals on this one because we don't want the cargo train getting in the way of passengers even though our passenger train is slower than molasses we still don't want them to get stopped up and i'm actually yeah we don't want them to get stopped up so go with that um, oh man we've got people for days on this platform 
It's still seven people. There's still eight people and you're full. Wow, we we may need another train. No, well, down here we're, um, I got stuff. So, I'm gonna hold off on my dreams of tons of trains. Ah, oh, sad face. But, I can get this cargo line. Doing some stuff with things in the boots and the cats in the fur. But, um, so I don't want to put the depot. Good place to put the depot. Honestly, I'll just I'll just drop a depot depot over here. Just put it in, make it look like it's kind of part of this whole station area. Drop it in. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get mad. Right there. Well, bam, depot. We'll just drop that track right in. All that. Good. Put down some signals. All right, and let's make a new line. So let's see, we're gonna be transporting, uh, what is this? This is grain and cows. Grain and cows. So what kind of train are we gonna need? Let's see. So we've got that one locomotive. I mean, that's gonna be our, our go-to for this. Uh, let's see, we don't need a passenger car. I mean, cows do not need a transport in that kind of style. But I don't know, unless it's like Wagyu beef or something crazy. We don't need him. Like first class style. So let's see. Open wagon's gonna take some grain. Okay, that's good. We're gonna need some of those. Tank car, nope. Goods wagon, livestock. Okay, perfect. State car is gonna do your like construction -y things. All right, so I gonna put a train on. And I don't know if we want two trains, like one for grain and one for livestock. That's gonna run back and forth. Actually, we don't. We I don't think we have the money right now. So honestly. We got 700,000. So I'll drop on three of each and hopefully we don't run out of money. Oh my gosh, we are basically out of money. All right, spending spree over. Uh, yeah, that, that's a lot. So, so let's set this line. No, 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 not that one. Uh, let's take a new one. And this is gonna be Ventor East over and up to uh, Ipswich South. Uh, so I'm gonna call this the Van Ips. Uh, I don't even remember what I my initial was for it before. Ips. Uh, d -d 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 -d. what is this? This is farm. Oh, this is a farm. Yeah, it's a fram. Yeah, fam, fam, farm. All right, get that farm line going and he is moving at the speed of slow and we are on two times time acceleration and they're going so slow look at him um but we do need to be able to deliver this down and i'm gonna pause real fast before i like run out of money um since i don't have really enough to build another train another station to move things around again i think i'm gonna go to our friend the oop Oh, I don't even really have enough for this. That is scary. Uh, I may have to take out a loan. I don't, I don't want to take a loan. But what this is going to allow us to do is then we can deliver our foodstuffs. I saw for 13. I saw, I saw, there's 13. Oh, there you go, 13. Oh god, we're out of money. Okay. Yes, I will take out a loan. Yeah, at this point, I could have just bought another train. But what's the fun in buying another train? Well, trucks. So let's see. Who needs food? Who needs food? Uh, is it housing? They just got people. Ah, food. Okay. So the blue buildings need some food. Uh, so we're gonna need to build a truck stop that is going to service the the blue buildings without like tearing out all the blue buildings. Oh, this is gonna be costly. Well, good thing I took out that loan, right? Because. Uh, yeah, I mean, that'll give us all the blue buildings, but that's kind of expensive. Oh, that's gonna destroy so many buildings. Let's, can we just destroy two? Three, two, two, four? No, not four, stop, no. One, there we go. One building, okay, we'll take it. All right, so, we're gonna make a new line. Uh, let's see, oh, we're also gonna need a little horse uh, barn thing. Actually, a very modern looking barn for horses, I mean skylights and everything. I don't know. I don't know if I buy it. 
It's kind of modern for 1851, but now we're going with it. We get two horse wagons, and uh, we'll set these on a new line. This new line will be, what is the name of the city? That name, oh, I'm sure the station going to tell me, actually. It is Venter. Okay, so this will be, uh, this will be Ven, oh, 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 Ven Food. That way the good people of Ven tour and uh, get fed. I mean, that's always a thing, right? So we'll see those little trucks go off. Here they are, there they go. Look at that. Look at that. guy. Such speed, much horse. Anyway, let's see how trains over here are doing. We have a lot of people in this station. We got 31 people. People really want to get out of Ipswick. Ipswick. I apologize if you live in that town. I'm really bad at pronouncing things. Where all these people go and there's no bus waiting for them. What is, what? Oh, the bus, the buses. We need more buses. Do we need more buses? So we can go to the little slime thing and we can see actually we are just losing money. Just like left and right. Though the passenger train is making bank. The farm route, I mean, okay, the farm route is not making bank because he just went off. He just, he just started. You can't expect it. But we've already got farm stuff waiting for him. So, I mean, that's, that's good. He's choo-chooing along pace of fast. I mean, this is on two times time acceleration, and he is going. Okay, we're gonna just up this to four times. We're gonna go super speed, light speed. Yeah, light speed. Yeah, light speed is just not. Uh, I mean, he's. Gonna, I mean, I can pan faster than he can go. Yeah, and uh, yeah. And he's gonna stop for our passenger train. That's just money down the drain. I think, I think we need to put also some, some signal so that way the passenger train, if the, the cargo train isn't always waiting for the passenger. Okay, this might be signal like crazy. I might just, that's just, okay, that's insanity of signals. I gotta do the other side too now. Oh man, that's too many signals. Why, why are you doing this? Why'd you do this to yourself? I mean, this isn't even double tracked yet. I mean, that's when we really need to do this. But. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the other one. Though I do really love this fact that you can do these junctions like this. For anyone who played Train Fever back in the day, I mean, this, it was not possible to just cross. One did not simply cross streams, as it were. No, no, you have to build bridges. Figure out weird bypassy things. It was just—I mean, it was fun. Don't get me wrong, but uh, it was—you couldn't just cross tracks. Even crossing roads with tracks was, at times, frustrating. Frustrating would be the understatement. Uh, yeah. So there we go. Just blew all the money on uh, getting signals. Oh, our farm train is moving. Oh, look at him. He's almost full. What? No, you're, you're already almost full. So we're gonna need another train, maybe. I mean, that's a good sign, though. That is a good sign. How's... Uh, oh, the bus. Alderwood. Alder... No, no, not Alderwood. What is it? Alder... Aldershot. Aldershot. Aldershot bus is, like, starting to make profit. It's starting to make bank. They put another... But, okay, it doesn't warrant another bus yet. But, um... Passenger train. Look at that. 140,000. Starting to, like, actually make money. This is... This is good. It's good. We can actually almost put another train on this thing. The amount of people going back and forth. They're small little trains. You just... It'll increase the frequency, right? So you either make a really long train, you can carry tons of people, but then you get here, and then you're over there, and it's really slow. Or you can put two trains on opposite of each other, and that just doubles your frequency while maintaining the same amount of people. I'm, I'm a big fan of having more trains. On my American campaign I was doing, not for streaming, just for myself, for practice, I ended up with a line between three cities that had like six trains on it. It was ridiculous. But, I mean, the people were happy and they didn't use cars. But we didn't really get to the age of cars yet. But, I mean, that's the thing you gotta worry about because when 1900s comes, this thing's gonna become a super highway. Everyone's gonna wanna take the car. And they're not gonna wanna take our trains. And it's gonna be sad. And we're gonna be like Amtrak. And people aren't gonna take us. 
Okay, that was a low blow at Amtrak. Amtrak has good service, but like, do people take Amtrak? I do wonder. The answer would be maybe. I don't know, I don't live in the Northeast. I live, again, I'm California bird. I live down in California. Uh, and we've got trains. We've got Caltrain. I mean, that runs. I don't take it. It's, it's, it's too slow for me. That's the problem with America, isn't it? We just want to get places fast. Cars are faster than trains still. You need the high-speed trains. Not the California bullet train, though. Not that. That is, that's a boondoggle. That is a boondoggle. But anyway, I am getting on train tangents. I mean, let's look at our finances real fast. Okay, we're losing money this year. That's awkward. I mean, we made like $2,000 last year. That, that's good. That I don't. What do we spend our money on? Running costs. Running costs. Are people not people not using our people are using the services? A food. A food is not. Okay. Okay, you guys. Are you you're carrying food. Okay. Okay, they're carrying food now. So that that's oh, and we still have lots of food. Okay, we may need to buy some more food carts because these guys are slow and they're gonna take five ever. Get down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna add some color to this line. Make some it's like a beige. No, no, no. An orange. Yeah, let's go with a light orange. Bye. Here are more of those. Probably overkill. Probably gonna regret this later. But there they go. There go our oh, light orange horses. Where, where are they light orange? Oh, like white. oh, oh. Are the animals light? I don't know. I picked a very wood color, so maybe that wasn't such a great choice for a wooden carriage. But, you know, live and learn. Uh, so this guy is producing food. Look at him, 26 production per year. 28, I mean, he's going up 30. Look at that, that's crazy. Uh, so he is definitely, yeah, oh, we've got so much food to move. We're gonna need another food train on this. And we're gonna need another passenger train on this. And we've got no money. I mean, it's just like the worst. I mean, we've got demand. Can't supply. I can't. I can't help. That's so sad. I guess we could take another loan. Out. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna have to do. Doing. We're gonna have to take another loan out and put two trains on this. And I, I'm thinking actually of specializing the trains. So what? What I mean by that is we've got to carry grain and cows, right? And so the cows are carried by this. These little box car things, and the grain goes in these grain cars, but... I don't know, I don't know how I want to do that yet. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about this one. And actually, this, this is a great time, honestly, to end this episode one of Transport Fever. Uh... Actually, I'm just gonna keep this keep going. Uh, this has been Kamada, aka California Bird, aka Kamada. I I really don't know. No, it's been California Bird, and this has been part one of our European uh train fever trans sorry transport fever uh gameplay. I'll leave you with this, watching the cargo train uh, go make a delivery and get rid of these, rid of these windows. So we'll go ahead and watch this and we'll call it here, part one. I hope to see you again at part two. Signing off. <laughs>